Hey, let's do a little regression here with Desmos. You can do this on your graphing calculator too, but I like Desmos. Uh, here's your data, and you'll have a few of these questions with different functions. I think this function is going to ask for a couple, so let's take a look how to do that. Um, years since, uh, make a scatter plot letting x represent the number of years since 1985. Okay, so 1985. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, add a table. And then I'm going to make recreate this table. So 0, 10, uh, 15, 25. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. I'm going year to year. Let's try that again. That would be I have to add 10 to that first one. So it's going to be 25. And then 25 more years should be 50. No, that's not right. 15, 10, 25, 50. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and then 2.8 chlorine value. And then 3.6. And then 4.2 and 4.0. So this would be the first step for any regression problem you do. Anytime you have to do a scatter plot or model data, you you go insert table and then you put in your values. Okay, and now you're going to have them here in uh, Desmos. You could like zoom in, uh, and there's what's happening. It's not always easy to see. You can mess with your um, the max and mins, right? So we don't need to see all these max and mins with y. So I could say, well, uh, y is not going to be negative. So I could go zero. And it's not going greater than four. So when I hit five, and then see where we are with that. And that's not bad. And we can zoom in and out. That's not bad. What kind of function do you think that is? That's your best guess. Is it? It's not quadratic. Maybe cubic because it kind of hops back up. So let's take a look at my choices. Which of the following? Oops, sorry. Um, that looks like this one to me. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Make sky we're using the graphic calculator. All right, which is the best? The linear, quadratic, or cubic? So let me show you how to do that. Um, for Desmos now, again, there's a bunch of ways to do this, there's a bunch of programs to do this, but for Desmos, you're going to create a function, right? We're using y sub 1 as our output. So if I just type in y1, it does the superscript for me. And I got to use the tilde for the estimate, all right? And then I have to um, pull in x sub 1, right? And also I need parameters. For example, if it's a linear function, you got uh mx plus b right two parameters and i can show you a list of all these how to do it but i'm gonna use a for a parameter it knows that i'm gonna use x1 for my input and then i'm gonna use b it knows b okay so this is my regression line using these points as you can see it's not very good here's my r squared value 0 0.5795 five okay um what if it's quadratic? Well, it's going to be a x squared. Right? And I use the t uh, caret key to get my uh, superscript. So let me show you that again. I'm over here. Oh, it's still hanging out. So I go caret, that's shift six, and hit two a x squared plus b x one plus c okay so those are my three parameters for a quadratic now that's pretty good that hits some pretty good r squared point nine nine eight eight okay so maybe i was wrong and for the cubic let me just make sure i have this one right Um, I mean, I'm guessing you just do it like quadratic. I'm trying to find an example real quick. 
but let's see if this works. If you if you just go and you go Q, and then the next one's squared, and then the next one is the linear, and then the next one. Yeah, I think that works. That's pretty good. There you go. So uh, R squared one. That's a pretty good fit. Okay, so we got our cubic function. What is the cubic function? Well, it tells you, right? So y, my function equals, then this is your value for A, this is your value for B, this is your value for C, and this is your value for D. Okay? Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. And then I think maybe you can answer the rest of your questions. I like cubic. What other questions are we getting asked here? Well, that looks like the best fit to me. Use the values as accurate as possible in the function. What's the predicted value? Okay. So your predicted value, then you're going to plug in what's X in 2060. How many years is that? That's 16 plus 50. That's 75 years. So you're going to plug 75 into your function. What's your function? Well, your function is this function. Right, but instead of A, B, C, and D, it's 0 0.008, negative 0 0.00188, and 2.8. Right? I hope that makes sense. You plug in your numbers, then you got your function, then you can plug in the x values to get your predictive x. Okay, so you'll do several of those for homework. I hope that video helps with the the process of regression. Um, there's a couple. You can always Google these. There's like uh, exponential. You'll do that would be A, E to the I think it's bx1. Yeah, and here's my exponential. That one's not very good for this function, but that's how you would do it. So there's a big list of these somewhere that I'll try and find, or you can Google them, and it'll tell you how to do regression for particular functions. Okay, I hope that helps, but if you have more questions, let me know.